What's up boys and girls, this is Vin Jimfield. I have an iPad, what's up? You can call me Vinny if you like. So today uh, it's another iPad mini 4 video uh, and today we're just testing an app called LumaFusion. It's a video editing app. It's, it's known to be the best app on the planet for video editing. So we're gonna test it out and I'm doing it as a favor for someone who just commented on one of my videos. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I didn't catch his name or her name, uh, but it's uh, it's from uh, ABMVT, Applied Body Mechanics. Uh, they have a YouTube channel and they are thinking about replacing an old iPad with the iPad mini 4. But uh, he, I think it's a he, uh, he, he's kind of wondering if uh, you can use the iPad mini 4 to edit 4K video using LumaFusion. And I explained to him that you can on Video Leap. You can't do it on iMovie, but Video Leap works flawlessly. I've done it several times. It works great. So the reason I haven't tested LumaFusion before is because it costs like $20 and this here is a zero shopping thing but i'm using my adsense budget because i did make a little bit of money on adsense and i figured it's for the channel so why not and if it turns out to be a good uh, video editing app i'll be able to use it for my channel so it's for a good cause and also to you know help out someone who's watching my videos you know so i have just installed LumaFusion and what I did was I did upload a 4K video from this camera that's recording right now. And I used this dongle where you can put SD cards and I put it in here and I imported a 4K video file, 4K 30 frames per second. Uh, it's two minutes long and eight seconds. And it's actually a video that I made that's coming out soon. And I'm gonna edit it on my iPad mini 4 using LumaFusion. But first we're gonna test it. So now we're gonna test it. So I'm, I've got my iPad mini hooked up to my uh, laptop just so we can, you know, mirror the progress on the screen while I'm doing it. So you can see what I'm doing. Let's go. Okay, so now we're recording on my iPad mini 4 screen, as you can see. And I've got LumaFusion installed. I've I've got to be honest though, I did recently just test it. Just wanted to see if there isn't like additional data that has to be downloaded. So let's start. But before we get into that, I just want to prove to you guys that I have a 4K video file. I'm going to use a different app because I don't know if you can see if it's actually 4K or not in LumaFusion. It probably does, but in case it doesn't work, I'm going to open up this app called VideoGrade, which is a cool video grading tool and I'm just gonna go to my videos and I'm just gonna find that video that we're talking about got some other clips and there it is uh, if you can see it's the one that's two minutes eight seconds it's 4k and that's the one I'm gonna upload into uh, well LumaFusion so let's go LumaFusion LumaFusion now well, it's looking good so far. It seems that the app is working. And I'm gonna start a project. I believe it should be the plus button. Okay. Let's see. Testing. Edit. 4K. On iPad. Mini 4. Frame rate 30 frames per second. Sounds good. Okay, you don't pick the resolution yet. I like that you can choose the frame aspects. Did I just accidentally... Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna call it test. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm just gonna insert my video file. gonna find it and there it is oh and I can just uh, do it like that that's that's lovely 
Now, is there any way to tell if this one is actually 4K? Project settings, no. Oh, that there is a lot of settings there. I like that. Clip. Okay, can do a bunch of stuff here. That's nice. Uh, let's see if I can put in my intro and my outro in the ending of this video. This is a video that's actually going to be released soon, but I thought it would be cool if I could edit the video using LumaFusion. I guess I can cut it using that. Okay, that's good. And I want to get rid of this file and I can just hit trash can. Yeah, good. Let's see if we can make a cool transition. What can you do here? Is there an option to Ah, there we go. Transition. And dissolve thing. Seems to be running pretty smooth, considering it's 4K. Let's see if there's some uh, color grading tools in here. Uh, Okay, that's cool. I do like that you can crop the video. That's actually very, very practical. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Oh, okay. I don't know how I did it, but I accidentally picked up some filters. Okay, and there are different levels. Contrast, oh, that's a bit too much perhaps. That's kind of cool. And I picked the excellent frame for this. <laughs> Highlights, shadows and stuff. Oh, you got some nice stuff to play around with here. I like that. Boy, do I have good editing skills. There we go. Going back. I guess you're kind of curious what the blue ball is all about, right? Well, you'll see. You'll see. Okay, here we have the intro. <clears throat> and as you usually know, I usually splice it somewhere in the middle. Uh, what's going on now? Is this like a bug of some kind? Oh, okay. But first, it's time for that intro. I'm gonna do a little cut here. There we go. Delete that one. I don't have any audio on because I don't want to spoil the video. But I can read lips. Sort of. I hope you don't catch me like pick my nose or something while I'm Editing, yeah, no, no, I think it's... <coughs> and we're gonna cut it there. And I like this that you can pinch soon like that. And I'm gonna transfer that over here. Excellent, and we need to do some transitioning. You know how I like to do my transitions? I like that you can pinch zoom like that. You can't really do it that well on iMovie and on Video Leap. I mean, you can, but it just, you know, it doesn't fly that well. So let's see, how can I do the transition? I forgot to, no, it's this one. There we go, transition. Can I pick a different transition? How can I pick transitions? Presets. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is there a wipe up? There we go. 
Let's see how it works. Yeah, that's nice. And I want a second one as well. Uh, transition. Presets. It's kind of intuitive. I like it. Like, let's do a wipe down. There we go. It's a little bit of lag, but considering this is an old iPad, I mean, iPad mini 4, it's actually a couple of years old. So it's kind of impressive that you can still edit 4K videos on it. And Apple doesn't think that you're supposed to. So, well guys, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Like there are a lot of cool uh, settings here. I can see that I can tweak all sorts of things here and it's looking quite nice actually. I'm, I'm kind of, impressed i really am and i'm gonna try it also on my iphone i'm gonna tweak this a little bit more before i release this but you're gonna see the result when i've uploaded it and i'm gonna upload it in 4k also so you can see exactly how well i could edit it on luma fusion so uh yeah hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh i hope i was helpful to you guys and um I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.